Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on R Factor 2 where we are hitting up the Supercar Series once again. Now last time out was the Adelaide 500, didn't do too bad, a little bit slow in terms of overall pace. But today we're going to be heading across the Dutch to New Zealand where we're going to be recreating the Auckland 400. Now this event was originally supposed to take place at the sort of traditional home of motorsport in New Zealand, the Pukekohe Park Raceway. But due to some sort of like Anzac Day sort of council rules and regulations, they decided to move it across to Hampton Downs this year. I don't know whether the event will still go ahead. We'll have to see what happens with the Supercar Series. I think it has been put on the sort of provisional calendar that's been uh, set for the whole restart since the COVID-19 break. But they haven't actually said which track it's going to take place at. So we'll have to sort of wait and see, I guess. I am going to be driving the Brad Jones Racing Freightliner entry that was driven by Tim Slade last year. I've got a sort of mod from the V8 Supercars series uh, that's based around last year's cars. So we have all of the sort of last year's skins and drivers and whatnot. We don't have an updated version yet, so hoping that'll come out soon. Alrighty, so qualifying done, managed to qualify fourth. So outside of the second row, now this race is 26 laps, which is around half of what it is in the, well, what it was going to be in the real life race. I have got the uh, AI set to 110% difficulty, which is what I sort of usually run it as. Uh, our pace has been pretty average in practice. I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised we qualified fourth. Uh, I think it was just because of the sort of low fuel settings I ran. Uh, so I'm not too confident going into the race in terms of our actual race pace itself, but I'm hoping the AI slow up as much as we do. Now, in terms of the strategy going into this race, the tire around here is insane um, on this track well this version of Hampton Downs so I think we're gonna have to pit twice in this race to get to the end on uh, well just on tires alone the fuel I think should get the entire of the way through the race so we just have to see how it goes anyway here we go Auckland 400 the V8 supercars around Hampton Downs on our factor 2 oh, struggle to get this V8 off the line that wasn't a very good start Hold it around the outside. Oh, let's see the track. Right, over this sort of loopy hill. Drop back down. Now we've got two sets of hairpins. Deep try and cover off any pass. Let's see if we can hang with these front three. I don't know why, but the Nissans are incredibly quick around here on this mod anyway. So, a little bit of a unreal, unrealistic thing to see Simona Di Silvestro on the pole. But besides that, I do like this mod. I think it's quite realistic. Right, first laps in the books. I said it was a short one. Already at the end of lap one. Just got to get these next couple of laps right. Try not to use too much of the tyre at the same time. little bit quieter today because I'm just struggling to concentrate this track is so sort of short you don't really get a break it's constantly doing something yeah we'll see what the tires are like at the end of lap eight that's when I've sort of estimated to make the first pit stop yeah if we could just hold where we are I think we should hopefully be a little bit Better than the AI on strategy. Got as well there. AI. Yeah, I got that wrong. So, fun fact of the day, I am actually a Kiwi citizen. My mum was born in a town called Rotorua, which is actually just down the road from Auckland. Been back there a couple of times. 
awesome place to go visit. They have this like really cool like luge thing you can go down and there's sort of um, I forgot the name of it, there's cable things you can sort of slide down. Oh that's a bit deep. But yeah, no. I do love New Zealand. It is my favourite country in the world by a mile. Now I've managed to be well, to go to 26 different countries now. So to say New Zealand is the best, I think it's definitely saying something about the was it four million population nation? Man, I'm starting to lose the front three. Ooh, loosey goosey. See our left front after just like three or four laps is already down 74%. Well that's way too deep. Good on new tyres, but yeah, I do actually have the tyre wear and fuel wear set to times two because well, do it like a half a race distance race, but probably should have left that on just normal for this race. See, so, yeah, I just cannot keep with these guys now that those tyres have worn down. Fiddled around with the cambers and pressures and whatnot in practice, but couldn't get any. Whoa! Oh ho! Old, <laughs> old mate behind us has had a bit of a moment. Good old R Factor 2 AI. Come on. Right, how many laps have we done? I need to give that screen there. Just... Halfway to the pit stop. It seems so weird just pitting after eight laps. It's like eight minutes and you making a stop for tyres but as you can see I'm already hanging her out going onto the straight well you can call it a straight it's one of those curved straights Monaco-esque so we've got a Castrol Nissan behind us just really cannot lean on that front tyre like I could before oh. Okay, the uh, AI would seem <laughs> it would seem to struggle around here with that third corner. Oh man, this thing is just done for tyres. Ready, man. We've done like five laps. Nursing it onto that start finish straight. Not get any traction whatsoever. We're in fifth, so we're still inside the top five. Supercar series last year, so I couldn't even tell you what, which paint schemes which and who's racing which car. No, it's yeah, just looked at the time and screen. By the way, if you have R Factor 2 and you want to check out any of the uh, well, the track mod and car mod and any of the overlays I'm using, they're all in the description below, as well as some of the audio stuff I have installed. So this is probably one of the more worst AI tracks. Cars keep flipping out and what 
not, but still fun. It's drivable, it's raceable. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go an extra lap here. It's the tyre right now. 46, oh my gosh, yeah, no, we're going to have to pit sooner or else we're going to die. JR lads go to work. Virtual world. Oh, I think I may have gone a little bit too fast there on entry. I forgot. It's 40 kilometers an hour. Oh no, sorry. For, yeah, 40 kilometers an hour, not 40 miles. Uh, please don't tell me I've got a speeding. That's uh, going to be a. Massive screw up. <sighs> um, good. Make sure the camera's still working. Playing up recently. Yeah, no, I knew it. Damn it! Right. Drive through for speeding, lads. Oh, mate. Just keep screwing up. Keep on screwing up. DNF to Formula E race after leading and crashed out on the first race of an Indy, well, first lap of an Indy car race not too long ago on my channel, and it's just not going well. Having a rough patch. Right, well, this is going to drop us way down, especially on such a short lap. Alright, let's try this again. Such an early pit lane as well, like, you know, really sort of get the car stopped. Anyway, it's going to set us back something terrible. Ugh, idiota. Anyway, we're going to have to make another pit stop before the end, so... to get this 15 laps to the end. I'm actually going to lap down. Uh, I think some of these guys haven't pitted yet. Jesus. the end but very much doubt it's going to work. Shall we? Not using any lock whatsoever. I 
knew the Jones, well, sort of knew the Joneses. Um, with all these engineer in, in karting was my engineer for a long time after Macaulay stepped out of carts and went to cars. I was a little bit younger than him, so I gained his engineer, Mr. Tom Williamson. He's doing great things in Australian, well, the Australian karting scene right now. Been a really successful team last time I checked. It's hard to sort of stay in touch with everything that's going on down under when you live on the other side of the world. Racing's gonna give me a black flag. That uh, iRacing I've to do. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get that right. Yeah, being super gentle to this tire, see if we can get there on one stop. lane is just too slow and I don't want to risk getting another bloody drive through. gaining any time to the current front but then I am driving at about 50% the car ahead is a lap ahead of us and it's gonna pit so there's the leader Drive it as straight as possible. I'm, it feels like I'm almost driving in the rain right now. I uh, just can't get that first corner right. You approach it so awkwardly, where well, you have to sort of turn and brake. It's very um, Brands Hatch esque. Similar to the first corner there. Oh, that's too deep. Come on, Joseph, sort it out. That's the old Lee Holdsworth. in 14th, still a lap down, I don't know where the leader is, oh, Jesus, that was sketchy, I don't know who that was, Around. Are they two laps down? 
Man, the AI around here are really weird. Everyone's in their own sort of race right now, it would seem. Maybe they have damage and are just slow, I don't know. All I know is that we're in 14th and I can't seem to find who's next on track in front of us. Apparently now it's Richie Stanaway. this tire, I mean we still got seven laps to go I suppose. a bit cloudy and that sort of hill that you come up onto the start finish line really does slow the car down quite a bit you can hear this v8 struggling to get up it really starting to go now. Feel it going from underneath me. What are we down to? Still looking okay. Definitely been a lot nicer to them on this run. Still got a couple laps to go. Oh, that's too deep. Come on. Crap on the marbles. Uh, get back on track. Urgh. It's amazing going offline there. Just lost all grip. That's pretty realistic. I like that. Right, 
might head down, focus, get this car to the end. Car's set up, good, it just, this mod chews up this set of tyres. Crap, I just realised I only got 10 litres of fuel left. Oh, oh crap, so we are going to have to pit again. Oops! Oh, well I've screwed that up, haven't I? Jesus. Yeah, because I've... I just remember now, I was meant to put in some fuel on the next stop. Alright, well that's... I'm terribly wrong. I thought if I'd... driven slower, I may have actually made it to the end. On the fuel as well. Not quite gassing it up as hard. Come on. Okay, we're gonna lose this 15th place. Oops. Flash some fuel and it gets me tires and just blasts us the end, shall we? I do not trust that pit entry. Oh damn, I think we may have snuck back on back inside the top ten there, but we're gonna fall way, way, way back now. Oh, why didn't I splash it on the last stop? What a pellet! laps to go, one lap to go, yeah, I've screwed up the strategy on this race big time. really light in that braking zone. Anyway. Let's see, is this the checkered flag? Yes it is. Well, unfortunately I really screwed up that strategy and as you can see it's cost us big time finishing 18th after starting fourth we would have had a top 15 in fact in fact I think we may have had a top 10 looking at it looks like some of the AI pitted those last sort of two or so laps but anyway another screw up it's not gone well moving on to the next one I'm not sure where we're going to be next in the V8 supercars category but I have enjoyed this track it is a fun little track it's a shame we didn't get to do the full sort of layout that they had planned but anyway guys thanks for tuning in uh, but yeah probably not the most enjoyable one but we'll keep up the uh, 
supercars sort of content on the channel and see how we go. And yeah, until next time, I will catch you guys later.